I'm Jeremy. Let's art Zuka. Every year, my family gets a family photo taken, and Mom likes us all to wear the same sweater. <laughs> well, this year, I asked Mom if I could surprise her and Artzuka our family picture, and she said yes. So, we're all going to be wearing masks. Okay, the best thing about making masks is thinking about what you want to create. And so, for the family photo, I thought, how about water-breathing alien masks? To make my water-breathing alien mask, I've got a balloon that I tape to a basket so it doesn't wobble. And I'm going to cover half of it with paper mache. Now I have some torn up strips of newspaper and some paper mache mixture. And that's just glue and water. Dip the newspaper strips into the mixture and then just paste it onto the balloon. You can use paper towel as well as newspaper. I want to make sure that I'm using my hands and I'm getting in there and I'm covering the strips with glue. I'm going to use at least two layers so my mask will be really strong. You don't have to cover the entire balloon, just the front. And when I'm finished, I'll need to set it off to dry. Here's one I made earlier. I just popped the balloon and pulled it out. This is about the right size for a face. And on this one, I've trimmed the edges so it's nice and smooth. A water-breathing alien needs to breathe and see, so let's give him some features. First, the eyes. Now for the eyes, just measure like this. All right. And then we just place it right down like that. These will be the two places that I'll put the eyes. And I'll mark it in with my pencil. So one little dot there and one little dot there. And now, I'll draw a circle around those little dots. Now those look like good eyes. How about for the mouth? So for the mouth, I'll just make a little dot and then draw in the circle. Now I have the placement of my eyes and my mouth. And with my pencil, I'm gonna very carefully poke it through. There we go. Poke one there. Poke one there. And now I can take my scissors and very carefully make a cut around the circle that I created. And follow it all the way around the circle. And when I'm finished, my water breathing alien can see and speak. I have something in here that would make a great mouth. Check this out. A recycled bottle cap for a mouth. It's perfect. This one fits just right, but it's a good idea to measure yours before you cut. Now that it's in place, I just have to tape it onto the back. There's one strip there. And just to make sure it's super secure, I'll use two strips. Ah, bah, bah, bah. My alien has a mouth, but check this out. Look at that. I used some cardboard and paper mache to make gills so that the alien can breathe. I also thought he's an alien. So, to contact other aliens in outer space, this would make a great antenna. A golf tee that I found and a craft foam ball. If I stick these two together, wee wee wee, I've got myself a perfect antenna. So, with a little bit of tape, I'll tape that to the head. So one strip there. And one strip there. Don't worry about this tape because we can paint over it later. One antenna looks great, but I figured two more would look even better. Once those are in the place and everything's been added to the mask, I get to paint it. 
Now I made this one earlier and I painted it the universal alien green. Now I just need to add some teeth. For the teeth, I just cut out some cardboard into the shape of teeth and then with some tape on the back, I just tape it into place. And now my alien has a nice set of chompers. Now I'm making this one for my dad, so he'll need a mustache. And these elastics will be great. Hmm? So I took these elastics, cut them in half, and then bunched them together. And then with a twist tie, I just wrap it around like that, twist it up, and now I can slide them into the mask. And I've just made a couple of little holes here so that makes it easy to slide the mustache on. Perfect. But I didn't just make one mask. I made one for everyone in my family. So here's my dad, and he has the mustache. And then I made my mom. And my mom has big eyelashes, so it looks a lot more like my mom. For my sister, I didn't really need to make her mask because, well, my sister looks like an alien anyway, but I decided I'd make her one. And here's my sister Natasha's mask. I gave her some messy hair made out of elastics. And I saved the best for last, my mask. See the family resemblance? Beep boop beep. Deedly boop up. Beep boop beep. Deedly boop up. Water breathing alien masks are a great way to artsuka your family photo, or you can just make one for fun. Here's how to do it. Start by making a mask out of paper mache. That's ripped newspaper or paper towel dipped in a mixture of white glue and water. Paste it onto a balloon to make a mask shape. Half a balloon is about right. When it's dry, you can pop the balloon and trim the edges of the mask. Then you get to decorate. I cut out holes for eyes and a mouth and decorated the mouth with a bottle cap. I also added gills I made out of scrap pieces of cardboard. Then I painted my mask alien green. Elastics make a great mustache and hair too. Don't worry if you missed some of that, it's all at artzuka.com. Artzuka! Art? Water movie without getting wet. I love making movies, and here's a fun way to add some easy special effects. So, first, I put my camera on a stack of books so I don't have to hold it. If you need it to be higher, just add more books. Now, if I'm gonna make an underwater movie, I need to make it look like it's really underwater. So, I've made some underwater creatures out of plastic and cut them out. I put these on a clothespin, and these are just tied to a hanger. Now I can hold them in front of my camera, and my hands won't get in the picture. Watch this. Here's a really fun way to make it look like the light is shimmering under the water. All you need is a jug of water and a flashlight. Now, just shine the light right through the jug and give it a little shake. Check out the shimmery effect. I've got my fish, I've got my water, and I'd like to bring my sub into the picture and make it look like it's floating. 
but this sub is too big for me to lift. So I'm gonna use my camera to make it look like the sub is moving. It's not moving, but by moving the camera, it looks like it's moving. Okay, say you don't have a giant sub sitting in your house like I do, but you want a submarine in your movie. Well, you can use a toy sub and put it on a stick like this, like I did with the fish. Now it's tiny, but if I hold it near the camera, it looks much bigger. When you put them all together, it's Artsuka movie magic. I love making my own movie special effects. It's great fun to make it look like your movie is underwater. One way is to make your own underwater creatures. I attached fish to sticks and tied others to wires so I could pull them in front of the camera without getting my hands in the picture. To add to the underwater feel, I shot a flashlight through a jug of water and then gave it a jiggle. It makes a great shimmer effect. If you're like me and happen to have a giant submarine, you can make it look like it's floating by moving your camera. If you don't have a giant sub, a model or a toy attached to a stick can look great too. For more cool movie special effects ideas, check out artzuka.com. And now time for an Artzuka safety message. Remember, when building a giant sculpture of yourself out of clay, bigger isn't always better. something out of board game pieces. That's a great challenge. Let's see what I can art Zuka. Okay, dice, dominoes, cards. Hmm.
It's a face. It's all in how you look at it. There's nothing more special than your name. If you want to do something really special for someone, your mom, your dad, or even yourself, you can make a piece of art out of their initial. I'm gonna make one for my grandma, Jessie. So to start off, I have a blank piece of paper. And I think I'm gonna use some markers for this one today. J for Jessie. Now J is a really simple letter. It looks a little bit like this when you make it into a block letter. That looks nice, but here's a little tip. Add a few lines here. Like that. Now, my J looks like it's coming off the page. And that really makes it pop. And here's another way to make a J. Instead of making a regular J, we can turn it into a character. Now you're probably not gonna believe this, but my grandma loves robots. So I'll make her a robot J. Now check this out. I'm going to make a robot that's in the shape of a J. I'll start off making my robot's head. That will be the top of the J. There's some eyebrows. Big robot eyes. And then this robot will have a really big robot smile. And then I'll give him an antenna so we can contact all of his buddies out in outer space. I have the head, now I'll make the body. This will be the middle part of the J. The best part about robots is there are just a bunch of squares. This really helps when we make it into a J. I'll decorate his belly. There we go. Add some nuts and bolts so he doesn't fall apart. I could use the arms for the top part of the J. And then another big hand right there. These arms are curved, but they still kind of look like the top of a J. So that would be the top of the J, and now for the bottom part. And that can be the robot's legs. There we go. It kind of looks like he's sliding down a slide. This is one of those things you can practice when you're doodling. It's super simple and really fun to try. I'd love to get your autograph. Send me a picture of the ones you make at artzooka.com. And now time for an Artzooka safety message. Remember, when making photocopies of yourself, be sure to keep track of which one is the real you. And our Zooka challenge! For my Art Zooka Recycle Challenge, I challenged myself to make something out of a stapler, and a hair clip. I put them in a movie starring Paper Bag. Come on, let's see what I made. I also put something else in my movie. Chewing gum. See if you can spot where I put it. Now, sit back and enjoy Cinema Artzuka. Here's the stapler. And here.
here's the hair clip. Can you guess what it's going to be? Yes, it's a snowmobile. Now let's see it in a movie. Did you like the movie? I made a snowmobile out of a stapler and a hair clip. Hey, did you spot the chewing gum? Take another look at where I put it. I challenge you to make something out of a stapler and a hair clip. Be creative, anything goes. And when you do, take a picture and email it to me at the Artzuka website artzuka.com What will you artzuka today? <laughs>